Are you excited for SD Lau? SD Lau 2021. <laughs> <laughs> yes, SD Lao 2021 is about to come to a close. Estonia is going to choose their Eurovision singer. There is a big final, some big names, and our bloggers around Europe have been watching and they are now going to pick their top three. I am not feeling so well, so I'm not actually going to record, but I cannot wait to hear what all of them have to say. You guys, take it away. Let's do this. <laughs> Wow, 24 songs. That is one long selection. But before I kick this off, I would like to say my honorable mention is Egert Milder. I wanna be free again. No one who tells me how to behave. I know it will not be the same again. What I love about Free Again is it's really tasteful staging. You know, he wants to be free again. He's not up for judgment or your opinion. He just wants to do what he wants to do. And what he, sometimes what he wants to do is just to sit on stage and sing or lie back on stage. You know, the, the lyrics, tying very much with his expression and the staging you know simplicity piano someone on the piano then he's got backing vocals far behind i really like the simplicity of this and yeah i was really toying with the idea does it make my top three and you know what just narrowly missed out this is really good and if this advances to eurovision you know i wouldn't mind it at all in third place <clears throat> Sured to Krudut with Heavens Not That Far Tonight. Let's just leave for the finer things in life and don't let the moment pass you by. Life's a game of truth all day. Heavens Not That Far Tonight. Dagma Oya, who I know and love. She's actually a friend of mine. And Claire Vilgas, K-A-I-R-E. I don't think it's Claire, it's Claire Vilgarts. She's the one with the armband wrist tattoo on. These glitter queens belting out is all I need in life. Heaven's not that far tonight. Well, you know what? I bring it on. And you know, these are two backing singers that have been to Estelar probably more than anybody in the competition. I've definitely seen them at Eurovision on several occasions. And they're great. They've supported many artists into the grand final. And what a beautiful way to celebrate that with a song that actually honors what they do by bringing their backing um, singers front and center. Because towards the end of the song, after the key change, everybody from behind comes on stage in this wonderful party celebration. You know, I appreciate this is divisive, it's disco, it's somewhat formulaic, it's very Eurovision tailored, but it is, Estilal is the competition for Eurovision. I don't see why that's a bad thing. You know what? I'm sorry. Hate me all you want, but I love my queen. Yes, queen. Hey there, it's Oliver in Liverpool. My number three this year goes to Heaven's Not That Far Tonight by Sured Turakut. <laughs> Listen, is this song original? No, it's not original by any stretch of the imagination. But it doesn't need to be because it fulfills a formula that works so well. We've seen this done at Eurovision a thousand times over, but that's because it's so much fun. Sure Tura could just bring this energy to this stage that I think makes you want to join in with them. As well, they give really, really strong vocals, by far some of the best vocals of the night in that semi-final. There's a reason that they've provided backing vocals to so many other artists in the past, and I'm super happy for them that they're finally getting their moment in the spotlight as their own artists. If this went to Eurovision for Estonia, I wouldn't be mad about it. It wouldn't give them the best result. It is nowhere near a top 10 entry. 
but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a moment that we can all get up and dance and join in. I just really enjoy this track. Hey, it's Robin here in New Zealand. My number three pick is Riddell with Tartu. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I do know that's kind of an educational song. They're talking about the small wooden towns of Estonia and they do reveal which one is the most small and most wooden. So, you know, you learn something. Um, but really the performance they brought at the semi-final was incredible. It was full of this the chaotic energy and I sort of think, are they gonna bring something more to the grand final? Or what's it all gonna be like? It's very exciting. This is the kind of song I like to see in a in a, um, in a national final. Just, it's a bit different, and they they're really just doing their own thing and being being true to their artistic vision. Hi everyone, it's Jonathan here in the UK. So my number three in this year's Estee Lol goes to, and I apologise if my Estonian pronunciation is. Dreadful, uh, but it's the wonderful women of Sured Tudrukud and their disco jam, Heaven's Not That Far Tonight. I think this really stands out for me in the selection, in amongst, you know. The songs that are, you know, there's a lot of slower, more mid-tempo ones. I think this one just brings the energy, it brings the fun. I love, I love the way they perform it on stage and their interactions with each other and the backing singers when they come on. The disco vibe is, is so fun. It's so great and yeah, I think this just really stands out for me in amongst the selection. Do I think it's gonna, you know, compete for number one spot, maybe not, but I'm really glad that they're in the selection and they were able to show themselves off in this way. And yeah, good on them for just um, giving everything that they've got. I am in love. In second place for me is Hans Nena, one by one. I really like the studio cut of this and you know and the, the, the live is excellent for him I, I just have issues with interpretive dancing but actually this was rather well done it was a couple and it was kind of looking in it reminded me a little bit of um, Andres Kelly Saunders you know running where you know he's singing and you know all that action is happening you know he is hands is very emotive you know with his armband tattoo the white shirt and just kind of singing from the heart he's got that 90s r and s quality to him but this is very contemporary this is a 2021 song and you can hear it on a 2021 radio station um this is really really good you know if this goes ahead to your to, to eurovision i think it'll also get good results but it's my number two though my number two this year goes to Yori Putzman with Magus Melanchulia. I didn't like this track at first. I'll be honest, the studio cut still doesn't do a lot for me. It just feels like Yori Putzman is screaming at me with that falsetto in the chorus. The texture balance is just all off. But on stage, there is a, there's a difference there. It changed my opinion when I saw Yori Putzman actually singing live and he sang in his chest voice rather than up top. It just provides a much better balance and therefore a much nicer listening experience. 
as well, this is absolutely the most Eurovision-ready performance out of all of the Estee Loud tracks this year. In terms of how it's staged, it's just gripping from start to finish. This doesn't need any work. It could do with maybe a bit of vocal work, but in terms of a Eurovision package, everything is there. And if Yuri Putzman gets the Estonian ticket once again, he's not going to be left in the semi-finals anymore. He will make it to the final this year. I am certain of it. Okay, um, my number two song is Yuri Putzman with Magus Melon. This is different from his 2016 Eurovision entry and I like that. I like that he has grown. He's sort of, I feel like he's coming more into himself, his own style. He gives such a cool, measured performance. Like he just owns the stage. He doesn't need to be in the spotlight all the time. He can deliver all these dramatic shadows and, you know, just showing little bits and pieces. But the whole song, it's a really captivating performance. Um, regardless or not of, you know, if he doesn't win this this year, I think there's a really good chance, the way Estonia goes, that he will eventually end up back at Eurovision so you know that's something to look forward to. My number two goes to Eurovision 2016 artist Yuri Putzman and his song this year Magus Melon Julia. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't instantly connect with this song. It's not something that I would personally, you know, put on my playlists and listen to on repeat. It took me a fair few listens to sort of really understand it and get behind it. But I think what sold it to me in the end was the performance in the semi-final. I thought the way they did it was really clever and the artsy shots and the the lighting that's sort of just over his eyes or just over his mouth um, and the different camera shots that are in there as well. I thought in the end, it gave a really nice dynamic performance and out of a whole, in terms of an overall package, I think this is one of the stronger ones sort of in, in the contest when I sort of look through the final 12. So yeah, I I wouldn't be mad if this was chosen. I think Estonia in the past have been a country where they're not afraid to take a few risks and, you know, go with songs that are more, you know, I guess Estone, leaning more towards an Estonian audience rather than pandering to a wider a European audience. So I do think it would be a risk. I'm not sure if people watching from across the continent would necessarily get on board with this after one listen and they might be a bit not sure what's happening there but it's a risk I think I'd be intrigued to see how it would pay off and in first position please cue a drum roll I don't need a crystal ball to tell me, to show me, and to convince me that Uku Suviste is the lucky one. I don't need a crystal ball to show me It is plain that you don't know me When it comes to you, I'm better off alone I don't need a crystal ball to make me Realize that if I stay, you break me Oh my god, let, let me just, first of all, morally he should go. He won last year, his prize was to go to Eurovision, he hasn't gone to Eurovision, you know. It, there's an IOU here in the mix, so let's just put that in the back of our heads. But also, 
out of the 24 songs of Estee Lau, this is light years ahead and this is so Eurovision ready. You know, there is so much here that I love. Uku Stiviste has a certain confidence exuding from him. He's actually dressed very casually, but he looks very magazine cover boo. And it's not just looks here, vocally he's on point. Actually, the mixing on the night was a little bit kind of slightly off key, but what it did show you was that the guy can sing because his vocals were still cutting through the backing vocals and the electronica beats. You know, I love the way it's been staged as well with, you know, the House of Chains kind of shackled by this lady, but he's breaking free, you know, He's the lucky one because he doesn't have to deal with her S-H-I-T. I like the thunder and lightning strikes. It just gives you impact. It gives you immediacy. It makes you sit up and it makes you watch. And Uku connects with you, connects with the camera. Even when he's in blur effect, even when he's silhouetted, even when he's kind of paired back in the shadows. Major criticism though, I will say Uku. The lady in red, I'm sorry, Chris the Berg packed her behind in 1986. You don't need to take her in 2021. She needs to applaud you from Tallinn, honey. That interpretive dancing totally cheapens everything. My goodness, this is a song you co-wrote with Eurovision songwriting legend Sharon Vaughan. You're not going to have interpretive dancing in it, are you? Be clever. Use visuals, use um, the digi wall, use t television tricks to kind of convey the message. You don't need a physical dancer just kind of distracting. Uh, it's you I want to see and you've only got three minutes, boo. That is my only criticism. But even with that in the mix, this should win Estee Lau and I hope it does at the grand final. And finally, my number one in this year's Estee Lal goes to Egget Milder with Free Again. I wanna be free again With no one who tells me how to behave I know it will not be the same again But please let me dream, my friend this, from start to finish, is just a really pleasant track. Eggett Milden's got this really calming and soothing timbre to his voice that just makes you feel relaxed, just makes you feel warm inside. I think the sentiment of the song is a thing that a lot of people can relate to as well. You know, looking back at your childhood and wishing for simpler times and wanting to be free again. That's something that we all want right now. I certainly want to be free again. I can't wait until this dreaded word that I'm not going to say is over. Egert Milder talks about that without sounding miserable or moping. It's just a really, really pleasant entry. And if this went to Eurovision for Estonia, I think a lot of people would like this. I think it would surprise quite a few people. He absolutely deserves props for coming back with a stronger entry than last year. And if anybody else other than Uku, who maybe deserves it morally because he didn't get his prize last year, I think Egget Milder absolutely deserves the trophy this year. And my number one pick for Estilal 2021 is Ido Lena and Robert Lena and Supernova with Ma Erlen Sin. really like this song it's has such a nice cozy vibe to it um, there's a really good dynamic with the father-son performers they've sort of got Evo who's this um, legendary Estonian performer former Eurovision star and he just brings this sort of grandfatherly almost kind of wisdom and experience to the to the song 
and then there's Robert who kind of has like a, a bit of swagger, kind of like an Estonian Jarvis Cocker, just someone, not necessarily a rock star, but just someone who's very confident on stage. Um, and together, the performance, it's just, it's just really, it, it comes together really well. I, I like the message of the lyrics as well. It's something along the lines of um, when you do things, the people that you do them for that inspire you, things like that. So yeah, all up, it's it's just a really good song, um, and I'm glad it's in the contest this year. And I really want to point out that my three picks all have Estonian lyrics. I don't know what that says, but it's nice to have a year when three of the strongest songs in the grand final have local lyrics. And finally, my personal number one in Estate Law 2021 goes to. Wingman by Andre Zevakin and Pluto. Do I think this is the best overall package that Estonia could send to Eurovision? Maybe not, but personally, it's the song that I have enjoyed the most in the selection, and it's the one that I have had on repeat on my playlist the most over the past few weeks and months. I actually really like the hip hop sound. Um, you know, hip hop isn't often a genre we get too much of at Eurovision, so I think it'd be it'd be nice if Estonia wanted to send something like this. The story that they tell on stage is really good and even if you don't speak Estonian you can still understand what's going on and the storyline behind it. The way that one of them starts behind the scenes I thought was a really fun way to set things off um, with him sort of you know telling telling what the other guy to do. And yeah how, how things progress on stage is 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 quite cool as well. I do think that if it were to get to Eurovision that there are some things that needed to be sort of cleaned out a bit as there, there are a fair few camera shots where they've got their back to the camera and you can't actually see what they're doing as they're sort of, I don't know, walking towards uh, these girls on stage and stuff. So yeah, definitely a few tweaks would need to be made to the overall package if it was to go to Eurovision. But for me, this is my favorite song of this year's national selection. But what do you think? Follow us and all these wonderful stars on social media. They're on TikTok, they're on Twitter, they're on Instagram, and some of them are on Facebook. And we will see you later. Bye! <laughs>